Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the guide section to the Long War classes. It's always the shameless self plug. If you like the content, feel free to subscribe to the channel and leave a positive comment below. Let's jump into today's video, which is going to be about the infantry uh, class. So the infantry uh, class um, or Ranger, as the official name is, um, is really one of the spin-offs of the Sniper. Uh, sounds surprising, but uh, if you think about it, the uh, Sniper um, always had the Gunslinger-ish uh, tree. They essentially just added uh, really uh, really normal infantry weapons um, and uh, brought out the class that focuses on damage dealing and just a lot of shots um, throughout, uh, the, uh, throughout the entirety of what they are doing. The uh, class comes uh, with a focus on uh, basically um, the typical three uh, pathways. Number one being the infantry pathway, which is focusing a lot on the shotgun um, and, um, and Im improvement of critical strikes. Then the pure shotgun uh, tree, which uh, shotguns, by the way, are their sidearm. You can see it uh, right here. Two shots per mission deal a lot of damage but have an incredibly high fall off of uh, accuracy at distance. So uh, the middle tree is the shotgun tree and the lower one is the defender tree or overwatch tree. And you can see um, uh, they inherited uh, things like kill zone uh, but also got some other abilities like ever vigilant just to do an overwatch uh, type of character. And um, today we're as always going to go through my favorite build and alternatives. Uh, First thing first, uh, the class probably is one that does not necessarily lend itself too well uh, to uh, low aim uh, in general. Similar to the sniper, they have a very narrow focus and there is not um, much that they would do outside of dealing damage. If you end up uh, having a character that uh, becomes a ranger and then has a very low aim, I would probably um, suggest you go for the shotgun uh, tree and try to somewhat um, uh, get some additional abilities uh, that maybe allow you to uh, to, uh, to take uh, supportive items such as uh, smoke grenades and the like so that it uh, becomes more of a support character but I would say the class not really excels at that. On the other hand if you do have a high aim a class does uh, what they are supposed to do very well which is just dish out an incredible amount of uh, damage at a short um, at a short amount of time. So Let's start with uh, their standard abilities. They will get the sh uh, sort of uh, shotgun um, with a single shot, uh, with one double barrel shot or two single uh, barrel shots per mission. And they also get the light em up ability, which essentially allows you to take a standard shot and that does not end your turn, which gives you the neat ability to shoot, move or shoot, shoot, or move, shoot in any direction that you want. So uh, that's why they are relatively strong at the beginning and they remain um, uh, kind of mid in the uh, field uh, until the very end. Whenever you do have um, an opening in your team and you want to add some more damage, then the uh, Ranger certainly fits that concept. Um, first up, Lance Corporal uh, abilities walk fire uh, allows uh, you to take a higher accuracy uh, shot but uh, with lower crit rate and it takes two ammunition. Absolute fantastic ability because one of the biggest problems with this class is you are very stationary. It's not a flanking class. It tries to get high ground and good um, uh, cover and uh, then basically maw down uh, on the battlefield over and over and over. If you use my um, uh, preferred skill set. That's just how uh, they would work. Close and personal, on the other hand, allows you to get a higher crit chance that goes well with your sort of shotgun. In the particular case, um, I'm not even sure, but I think that they can use shotguns. Um, let me find that out real quick. Yep, here we go. So they can uh, definitely use shotguns uh, besides their uh, rifles and they can even use SMGs, which I wouldn't recommend, but uh, they certainly can use shotguns, which uh, allows them to excel at close range combat. 
Back to the point that I wanted to make originally, if you end up with a character, uh, a ranger with a low um, to hit uh, chance, then certainly you might want to look into just giving him shotguns and then go for close and personal and use the um, sort of shotgun as a nice bonus uh, there as well. So that's an alternative build. Then finally, uh, in the Lance Corporal rank Ever Vigilant, which allows you um, to automatically overwatch at the end of your turn. Very nice if you want to uh, just double move and take a really nice position and take overwatch stance from there. The overwatch build in general, uh, so the pure defender, it's a nice supportive build. My personal take, uh, my personal take on that is, um, it can have some nice interactions, uh, and from time to time, specifically in a, a bigger firefight, it will de um, motivate the enemy to take um, movement actions. Uh, it requires a lot of setup, though, and more often than not, you will find yourself in a situation where the enemy either suppresses you uses grenades or just tries to shut you down. So uh, you're going to take a lot of heat in return. And I would say from an efficiency standpoint, probably the infantry path is a little bit more efficient. Now, next up, corporal rank lock on um, is exactly um, what you want to have. Uh, successive shots get plus 10 aim and plus 10 crit. It's a really good ability if you continue to stay in your location and shoot. So that's why I've skilled it. Pump action uh, gives you extra ammunition with your sort of uh, shotgun. Uh, so once you are at this rank, you might even switch to the assault rifle and just use uh, those two skills here kind of as a, as a backup. Oftentimes missions will not be that long. So with four single point blank shots, you would be fine. Um, and you still got your rifle. Covering fire reaction shots basically trigger on everything that the enemy does, which is great. So um, if you're going for that Overwatch build uh, that I mentioned, uh, that's an option that you could take. Then Sergeant rank aggression, um, which allows you to just get more crit chance. Um, definitely not bad, but it's over um, uh, shined by center mass, which doesn't need any crits to be good. It just gives you an additional point of damage with your weapon and that's um, probably uh, by far the the best uh, ability in this uh, tree unless you're only using the um, uh, sort of shotgun in which case uh, you can make an argument that you really want to go for that aggression uh, for more crit chance um, Cool under pressure gives you plus 10 aim on overwatch shots uh, which uh, and allows uh, them to critically hit so that's really the overwatch build pretty straightforward here um, moving on to Staff uh, Sergeant rank, uh, 10 aim and 10 critical chance against targets with less uh, than half health. I've used that historically, but uh, then found out uh, that I really like Fortify more. Fortify is just an excellent ability. It costs uh, nothing. You can use it for free. And one thing that I keep uh, reiterating with every single class that is an enemy contact, you want to maximize your chances of survival. Um, within the Long War campaign, I've lost only a hand handful of soldiers. The vast majority of our soldiers have survived over hundreds of missions at this point. Um, and one reason for that is that I prefer to defensively skill. If you stand in one area, uh, you might want to take 45 for the moments uh, where it gets a bit rough. For Overwatch, uh, the natural extension for the Overwatch build would be Suppression, uh, which uh, will allow you to shut down an enemy and also trigger Overwatch shots on that enemy. Moving on to uh, Tech Sergeant, um, one damage on a critical hit for every enemy that you can see. I'm not 100% sure why they haven't kind of switched uh, those skills around, because if you do have a shotgun, you might want to use Execution and you might want to use Bring It On, just to get to that 100% crit uh, chance and you don't want to use Implaceable or Fortified. On the other end, if you're a normal infantry, I would definitely go with those uh, two. So matter of fact, those three, in my perspective, should have been in the infantry rank because I see them as the natural extension of how you should play it. Um, Implaceable allows you to move after you've killed an enemy, which is great because um, it uh, gets rid of an issue that uh, the class has, which is 
it wants to use all of its abilities uh, um, spent on only taking shots. So what's great with that ability is it lets you finish something, then take a new flanking or good um, uh, position again, a new good fire angle against another target and just continue your rampage afterwards. Just a really good ability. Grazing fire, on the other hand, uh, gives you the option <coughs> to always deal at least some damage, um, which is cool for the Overwatch uh, tree. I would probably, even for the Overwatch, uh, probably go with Bring It On because um, uh, the uh, cooldown of pressure allows you to um, crit on Overwatch shots. So I'm not the biggest fan on the Grazing Fire. It's just I, I don't see that it is so good. On Gunnery Sergeant, there is a clear winner. Uh, the S tier ability Rapid Fire, no cooldown. Just one additional shot. And yes, in case you are as lucky as I am and getting hit and run on top of it, it essentially means um, if you have a target without cover, which happens quite uh, frequently if someone removes it for you, the first shot that you're going to take not only doesn't end your turn, you will get a bonus shot um, uh, through hit and run. So that's one uh, action for free. Then you kill an enemy with your second shot um, uh, and get a movement action for free. Uh, then you move, that's the third action. And then you end uh, with rapid fire, that's two additional shots. So yes, you heard correct, you can shoot up to four times and move in the same turn if the class is being set up in, in the correct way. And that's you can already see how the entirety of my build comes together. You just want to um, give that class more agency by supporting it with the other classes. Tactical Sense uh, gives you three defense for each um, enemy that you can see, which would be absolutely fantastic if it wouldn't cap with 15 defense. Um, 15 defense is almost uh, half cover, so it's fine. But rapid fire is just so much better. Rapid reaction when Overwatch is shot, uh, you uh, are granted another reaction shot up to a maximum of three shots. Uh, cool, but uh, if you do have rapid fire, there's no need for that. Period. Um, yeah, that's all there is uh, to know about rapid uh, reaction. With suppression, I can see if you if you go completely through that tree and you only want to overwatch and suppress and make it a supportive character, then by all means, please go ahead and do so. I can then also see the grazing uh, fire if uh, if you want to at least deal some damage. So. It makes some sense. Like I said, I think it is uh, vastly inferior, not vastly, but inferior to the first tree. Uh, finally, Rupture, which is great um, if you don't have enough shredding. So Rupture can help to get through really, really heavy targets. Um, I like it generally, but unfortunately it ends your turn, uh, which means um, it is either Rapid Fire or Rupture. Um, and since the way that I am using uh, the infantry is really a pure damage dealer that needs to be set up, uh, I'm not going for Rupture. If you have a lack of support classes, you might want to go for Rupture. And uh, quite frankly, it's so late in the game that it, once you reach Master Sergeant, you should have figured it out. Uh, Combat Fitness, on the other hand, is fantastic. It's just a flat out uh, bonus uh, that is incredibly good. It might not look like much, but four aim, one mobility, two hit points, four will, and four dodge on top of it for a single uh, trade are actually quite strong. Um, and will pay dividends. Um, finally, and by the way, once you train long enough um, uh, and get those stats uh, through covert ops missions, you might always reskill and just take either of the other abilities. Kill zone is definitely um, more um, uh, more accustomed for um, the uh, Overwatch um, skills. If you're going all the way, you might as well take Kill Zone because then you can really make it uh, rain. Uh, so that's definitely a build that shines once you do have uh, Kill uh, kill Zone uh, enabled, specifically with Cool Under Pressure covering fire and so on. So it's not bad. It will require an incredibly um, deep um, magazine to make that happen. But you can get away with it. So that's the build. Um, a couple of alternatives, like I mentioned, low um, hit, low to uh, low aim uh, soldiers could go into close and personal. Basically, the pump action aggression 
Executioner, I would probably still take Implaceable, um, I would probably still take Rapid Fire, and uh, then uh, into Combat Fitness just because it's a nice uh, stat buff. And the third build is the Pure Defender, which is an uh, uh, which is an Overwatch type build. I have used them, I am playing with them, but I think, uh, frankly speaking, that the uh, first uh, build is superior uh, to it. Uh, this class st is straightforward um, and very enjoyable to play. I hope uh, your rangers will bring all of the joy on your battlefield. Please let me know what you think uh, down in the comments below, and see you in the next class guide. Bye-bye.